Okay, we have done a lot of hard work up until this point to categorize all of our income and expense transactions into their appropriate places. Now it's the end of the month. We have finished categorizing and it's time to perform our bank and credit card account reconciliations. So what is a reconciliation? It's basically a checks and balances step. It compares what we've done in QuickBooks, what was brought into QuickBooks that we categorized, and it compares that to our ending balances per our bank or credit card statement. Most of the time, these bank reconciliations are gonna be so quick and easy because everything you have done in QuickBooks is good and correct. And that's what this video is going to cover when bank reconciliations work perfectly. Every once in a while, you will have an issue with your bank reconciliation because it has caught an error, an error in the way you coded something or in how something was brought in or something that was forgotten or maybe a timing issue. So in a separate video, I'm going to try and recreate some of the problems that you may encounter when you go to do a bank reconciliation. So there are two ways we can get to the bank reconciliation screen. One is to come over here to accounting. And before we were on this chart of accounts tab, but you'll notice there's a reconcile tab and then you can choose the account you would like to reconcile. Now notice it only includes your bank and credit card and liability accounts. Um, so we are gonna start with reconciling a business credit card account. Um, I wanna show you one other thing before we start getting into this. The other way that we can get to the reconciliation is from our usual banking tab. Now what I haven't talked about a lot is the register. So we're on our business credit card. We can hit go to register. And this is basically like your check register for that account. Everything that you have added to QuickBooks in date order, and then it shows the balance as you go along. You can switch which account you're looking at up here, um, or you can go back to banking and do it that way. Um, the register can be very helpful because it can shed light on problems that you could have before you even begin the reconciliation. So for instance, we're gonna reconcile as of January 19th of 2018 in our example. So I'm gonna slide down the register to here. Okay, so when I logged into my credit card account, I noticed that as of January 19th, 2018, it said that the ending balance was 802.77. Lo and behold, that's what the register says. So I know that my reconciliation is going to work. If you have a problem with your reconciliation, Looking at the register can be the first place to start to get a clue of what went wrong. So basically your register should exactly reflect what your credit card or bank statement said happened. And you can go line by line checking off expenses and revenues per your QuickBooks register and comparing that to your credit card statement or bank statement. Most of the time you don't have to go line by line because you don't have a problem and everything is working perfectly. Um, I wanted to point out too that you'll notice starting here, we have an R. That means I've reconciled through this date. And this C means that it cleared. We added it from uh, our QuickBooks bank feed, but it doesn't have the R yet because we haven't reconciled. Okay. So up here, we can hit the reconcile button from this register menu. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We are gonna reconcile the business credit card. 
I already pulled up my statement um, and I know my ending balance and I know my statement date. So I'm going to fill that in. If this is the first month you're doing your reconciliation, this will most likely be zero. And in a separate video, I walked you through creating your opening balance amounts. And so when you get to the reconciliation screen, your opening balance amount will be there for you to click on. And then from there on out, you'll have the correct beginning balance. So I'm going to hit start reconciling. And by the way, it tells you the last time you reconciled. Okay. So here is our list of transactions that occurred um, from the last time we reconciled, which was 1219, through the ending date of this statement, which is January of 19. If this is your first reconciliation, that opening balance entry that you created will probably be somewhere near the top but it will probably not be checked off. So you will probably need to check it off. So what the check mark means is that those items have cleared the statement. Um, so up here we can see our, um, like the flow, beginning balance plus new charges or expenses <clears throat> minus one payment um, gives us our ending statement balance. Um, and the cleared balance is right here. So ideally your ending statement balance minus your cleared balance and you should have a zero difference. And in this case we do, we completely reconcile. So if you completely reconcile, then all you have to do is hit finish now. Um, and you are done with that month's reconciliation. So like I said, this video was to show you the ideal world. This is most likely what will happen when you reconcile your accounts each month. Um, the other video will cover possible scenarios where you have an error and how to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish now. Now, since this is a credit card account, it's asking us if we want to pay the bill now or enter a bill to pay later. Um, but this is not necessary. You don't need to do either of those things because the payment of the credit card bill we see come through on the bank feed and that was when we recorded the transfer um, between the two. So we don't need to do any of that. These options will not come up when you reconcile your bank account. We're just going to simply hit done. Okay, and you're all done. And then you can go through each of your other accounts and reconcile those months as well. One word of caution on reconciliations. Do not reconcile until you are absolutely positively sure you are not going to have to make a change to any of those accounts later for those dates. Um, so I highly, 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 highly recommend on your banking tab you need to categorize all transactions in all accounts before you start reconciling any of your accounts. Like even if I had all of my credit card transactions categorized, I should not reconcile that until I have categorized everything in my other accounts because everything is linked together. So if maybe something was wrong here, or you discover something wrong in checking, but you've already reconciled credit card, let's just say it makes a big old mess. I would also give yourself a little bit of time. Um, so if your statement ending date is January 31st, I probably wouldn't reconcile on February 1st. I'd probably give my accounts a little bit of time, make sure nothing strange falls out um, before I reconcile. So you cannot make changes to reconciled items once you've reconciled or it will make a mess. You need to categorize all of your transactions in all accounts before you start reconciling. 
Okay, that's it.